do you have any goals in the industry that you still want to accomplish? Um, you know, <laughs> I was wondering, <laughs> dread, <laughs> dread, dread was one, one that was on my accomplishment list, but as the days go by, you know, I'm like, I don't know. I don't need to, I don't need to, it's like climbing Mount Everest. Like, do I need to climb the mountain? <laughs> I don't need to climb the mountain. Like I really wanted to, like I had like energy to like jump on it. I really wanted to do Mandingo before mm -hmm. he retired. And then I guess like Dredd is kind of like the new Mandingo mm -hmm. or, you know, he's uh, another Mandingo. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, every time I look at his dick and like uh, in a scene and the girl's just trying to suck it. Like she's just like, can't even like, can't even get her mouth like on it. And My like, favorite oh. is Jane Wilde. There's some pictures of Jane Wilde she's so with, little. with Dred's dick. Yeah. And it literally looks like she is like a six foot long, like a, subway, a subway sandwich. sandwich. And she's just like, yeah. Like you can't even like, I'm going to piss myself off with that because I'm used to like accomplishing something but like I would have to like lick it the whole way just to like get it wet and then by the time I get over here this side's dry you know like <laughs> there's so much going on like I I I, oh. I I see girls like uh Avery Jane and Alexis Tay like they just take the dick in the ass like no problem yeah and I'm like you know I just don't have the energy to be that good yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> I will say though you know what I learned from Lucy Hart actually mm -hmm. is that everybody's like anal situation is different it is and you can go get surgery to get to become better at anal so he yeah. was telling me she, sorry she mm -hmm. was telling me that there is a doctor in new york i think um and the doctor can like because some people's anal cavity goes straight back and yeah. those are the ones that tend to be better with the anal because yeah. it just goes like you uh -huh. know what i mean like it goes smooth, straight in it's a smooth loop. yeah and then some people's maybe like curved down yeah. or i'm like a curver kind of tweak yeah and so it's like more painful because it tends to hit the wall yeah so yeah lucy was telling me you can go get like i think like your anal cavity straightened wow or like do something so wow. that you can take dick in your ass better that's probably my problem because it definitely like it can go in my butt like my butt can stretch open but it just like dirt stops and yeah. I'm like well <laughs> yeah so you probably don't your anal cavity probably, probably curves yeah slopes so. off yeah wow okay <laughs> but then <laughs> do I want to get this surgery yeah <laughs> yeah I mean so I can slam dick in my ass better it sounds good yeah I don't but know. like how badly do you want that's a lot of effort and you know i just don't <laughs> yeah it's a lot of effort for and like we love dread he is we so love lovely he's like i had him on this podcast he's, he's a nice man nicest man yeah but like i don't know if we love you that much dread no. that like we're gonna go get anal surgery no. so you i feel like that's like the last on like my to-do list like within <laughs> porn is like giant dicks because i've had some pretty big ones but i've like avoided like the humongous ones mm -hmm. for the most part and like dread was like next up on the list and i was like I don't want to do it and I can't do it. You know, mm -hmm. like I want to finish. I want to like Avery Jane that dick and mm -hmm. I can't. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. so I might just bow out gracefully. <laughs> so speaking of penis size, because this is something that comes up on this show a lot and uh, guys want to know what is your like preferred size? You know, there's different days. There's different days. Like overall, I'm not a size queen. Like I don't prefer bigger dicks. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, my body told me you, you don't <laughs> like, I just, your don't. mind told you one yeah, thing. Yeah. My mind was like, climb that mountain. And my body was like, but why get off? <laughs> like, you don't belong here. <laughs> so, uh, I prefer like, a like, a I don't know. I think guys care about dick sizes more than girls. Cause I'm not 100%. walking around with a ruler to know like, Oh, this is a six incher. That's what I like. 100%. You know, um, I, I can deal with a smaller dick. I, my, our vaginal canals are not like this cup, you know, yeah. like it's only so big and I'm more of like a clitoral stimulation kind of person too. Mm -hmm. So fingers are good for me. Not saying that I want a dick that's like this big, but like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, like five or six inches is, is pretty good to me. Uh, yeah. I'm not like a, I also am not like, like don't want necessarily like a small dick, like, you know, sometimes I want to be like a little murdered in the vagina, just mm -hmm. a little, little mayhem, just mm -hmm. flip the walls a little bit. That, mm -hmm. But that's on a, that's on like every other third Tuesday. But, yeah. but overall I prefer like a steady, nice, like, like five, six inch penis. Like a, like a boyfriend penis. Yeah. Like what they call the boyfriend dick. I like the yeah. boyfriend dick. Cause 
the other ones like you have to do maintenance after like you had fun but you have to like are you okay you know patch up the holes like fix the leaks and stuff <laughs> like, you're just like wounded Take a hop, epsom salt yeah bath. you do you do and like it's those are fun but i like i don't want to be like wounded after so yeah. i like a non-wounding dick <laughs> yeah it's like you don't want to run a marathon every day no 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 it's I, like a light jog yeah i'm i'm like a a pillow princess on usual days, like Monday through Friday, I just, just put something in there, take it out and I'm happy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't fuck up the foundation. Like <laughs> <laughs> what's on your bucket list outside of work? Uh, um, if I could meet Dwayne Johnson and see his dick, I'd be really excited. <laughs> or that guy, uh, Roman, the wrestler dude, then he's on WWF now. I don't know. He just keeps popping up on my Twitter feed. <laughs> he kind of looks like Johnny Castle, maybe. Oh, I really? Want. Yeah. So maybe if they have the same dick, then I'd be like, okay, maybe that'll be like a bucket list scene. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of cool to get like a mainstream person to have sex with a porn per performer. Mm -hmm. If they could collide inside of my holes, that would be awesome. <clears throat> I, f I feel like that. Ha Wait, are we talking about, hold on. Like if I could get Dwayne Johnson and like Ricky Johnson. <laughs> Oh, at the same time. At the same time. Oh. That would be cool. Oh. That would be really cool. I feel cool. like that mu that's probably happened to somebody at some point. Because I thought you were saying like a celebrity with a porn star. And I was like, oh, uh, no. They slide in your DMs all the time. No, no, no. Sure. On their own, they're not exciting. They're just, they're just normal people, you yeah. know. Um, but if I could... One, if I could see any part of Dwayne in person, I would be very excited. Mm. I, he's, like, been my celebrity crush since he was making people smell what he was cooking. Really? Uh, yeah. What is it about him? that you Those underwear him? that he was beating up people in. The little bull, the rock underwear. Oh, when he was a wrestler. Wrestler, yeah. Okay. He just... Like, Did you watch a lot of wrestling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was going to say, you mentioned WWE up with your brothers at the beginning. Yeah. And now we're, like, full circle back to wrestling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That guy. I have never tried to, like, I think I tried to DM him one time, and I was like, this is stupid, and, like, deleted it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if I could meet him in person, that's, like, on my bucket list. Aww. I might have to do, like, a charity or something just to, like, hey. You hear that, Dwayne? Want to slide into Anna's DMs. I, I'm very. I won't. I won't say anything. She's very discreet. I'm very discreet. I will keep. I'll just take a Polaroid and like put it in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make earrings out of it. Honestly, <laughs> be hot. Because there's not much. Like I'm not like an adrenaline junkie. I don't want to like jump out of a plane or anything. Like I've talked sh shit about a lot of people, so my karma <laughs> might not end well. So uh, I'm gonna stick to things that are like low impact. <laughs> <laughs> so Dwayne, so having sex with Dwayne Johnson feels like safe. Yeah, that's safe. That's as safe as my karma will allow. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Anna, thank you so much for coming on. It's been such a pleasure. Always thank you for to having see me. You. I know. Thank you. Um, and if you're a member of my Patreon, we're gonna do a little bonus Q and A after this with some of your questions. Um, mm -hmm. Anna, do you want to tell everybody where they can find you online? <laughs> you can find me online at A N A F O Triple X. If you're on any platform, just type that in because I get deleted and redeleted and. You know, so just type in Anna Fox and I should be there. <laughs> yeah, we were, we would promote her Instagram, but it was just deleted. Just deleted. <sighs> Do you have like a link site that people can go to? Um, I had to take it down because of Instagram. So like I just say that. Just go to OnlyFans. Yeah, okay. just go to OnlyFans. I'm there. I'm low key. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, if you guys want to find me, you can for now find me on Instagram and Twitter um, at Holly Randall. Uh, go to hollylinks.com for all of the links to all my stuff. And then, of course, um, if you want to support this podcast and get access to bonus content, go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. Another big thanks to Blue Chew for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. 